What I don't understand about some tourists who visit Prague is when they go to these big chain cafes instead of going to historical, stunning coffee places where they could have cheaper and better coffee and cake. The only reason why I think it happens is just because they don't know where to go. So in this video, we're gonna share the most beautiful cafes in Prague. And we are starting over here. Let's go, I need some caffeine. We are opening our list with the one and only Cubist Cafe in the world, Grand Cafe Orient, located in the house at the Black Madonna. Going there is an experience, as you will be taking a Cubist staircase to have a coffee in the Cubist interiors, even though the dishes and the tables were out. Suspicious. Their specialty is a Cubist dessert, and as you've guessed it, it's in the shape of a cube. And we had to try it, obviously. Our next cafe is a legendary place in Prague, Café Louvre. This was the hub of the intellectual life as it was attended by people like Franz Kafka, Max Brod, Albert Einstein and many others. And now you can also come there and feel as important, after queuing for your table of course, as it's a very busy place and no wonder, it's pretty and it's reasonably priced. We recommend their daily menus, their coffee and traditional Czech food. Another must visit is a cafe at the municipal house. Soon this cafe will be raided by influencers. Mark my words. We haven't tried any food there, but the cakes were so delicious and they were 6 euros each. I can also recommend this place for breakfast. Breakfasts here are between 6 and 10 euros on the average, which is great price for a place like this. A slightly more expensive cafe is Cafe Imperial. But trust me, you won't think about money at all when you will try their food. Imperial is ran by a Czech celebrity chef, so don't miss out on their lunch menus. You can literally get Michelin level food for just 11 euros. It's crazy. And I wanted to lick all the plates dry. Cafe Imperial is decorated with Moorish style tiles, which rightly placed it on our list of the most beautiful cafes in Prague. And since Imperial is Michelin, and recommend it, you have to comply with their smart casual dress code, so put on some glasses to look smart. We visited our next cafe in one of our previous videos about the mystery behind Czech absent. Slavia is one of the oldest cafes in Prague, decorated in Art Deco style. And just like other historical cafes, it was also frequented by many, many famous Czech people. The windows of Slavia are facing the stunning National Theatre and the riverbank. If you want to sip your coffee with a view of the Prague castle, just like Václav Havel did once upon a time, you gotta book these enviable seats ahead of time. <laughs> And we are moving to Café Savoy. This café is meant to resemble Parisian and Viennese cafés in their Belle Epoque style. This place is usually packed with influencers, so make sure to make a reservation. Café Savoy is definitely on the pricier side. They have breakfasts for around 15 euros and coffee for 3 to 4 euros. We recommend trying their Savoy cake. It has marzipan icing, chocolate mousse and cherries. Divine! Our last recommendation isn't technically a cafe, it's a coffee truck located in the courtyard of the flower shop, Botanica coffee truck. But I just love how they decorate this place according to different seasons, so I wanted to include it on our today's list. But bear in mind, Botanica coffee truck isn't located in the city center, but if you are in Varsovice, stop by and grab a coffee to go. They said they will be happy to see you there, guys. Prague has hundreds of cool cafes. We visited so many in our videos, in Holoshovice and Vinogrady. But in this video, we wanted to show cafes that stand out to us because of their unique style. Oof, that was a lot of coffee and cake. Before we finish this video, we wanted to give you some tips for visiting coffee places and cafes in Prague. From our extensive experience with tourists, our own personal experience, as well as analyzing hundreds of reviews of coffee places in Prague, we've discovered that people mainly have two problems when they're visiting coffee places here. Problem number one, they don't know how much to tip. The average tip in the Czech Republic is around 10%, but some people seem to be convinced that you should just round up your business 
will or don't give any tips at all. And that is not correct because we usually leave at least 10% or even more if the service was amazing. And problem number two is the high expectations of service. And while some of the coffee places and even the ones that we mentioned on our today's list are kind of like Michelin style coffee places and you should expect really high service and you will most likely receive it, it doesn't mean that everywhere you will go, waiters will be smiling at you and will be friendly. In most of the places, they will be just silently doing their job, <laughs> not expressing a lot of emotion. And that is kind of the standard. Okay, guys, I hope you liked our today's video and you will check out some of the coffee places. We actually will not receive any, <laughs> any money <laughs> from you going there. So don't worry, it wasn't a promotional video or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in our next one. Bye.